Well, developing right now, teachers are not showing up for after school activities in one district as they are preparing to strike. Our Michelle Newell is in Westmoreland County tonight. And Michelle, this is a district that is no stranger to teacher strikes. That's right. The last time there was a strike or they were this close to going on strike was in 2015. And I spoke to the school solicitor late tonight. He told me there are a number of financial issues. He says the school isn't growing. He also says the teacher's contract that the district has is very expensive. We do not want to go on strike. The Bell Vernon Education Association and the school district have been involved in bargainings for more than a year. We were optimistic. We were ready. We thought we were very close. Um, we only have five remaining issues open, and I will not speak to those issues that are open. Danine Watson is a longtime teacher within the district and also the president of the Bell Vernon Education Association. She says she was hoping they'd come to a successful agreement with the district last week, but says a negotiation meeting was suddenly canceled. With no response as to why they had canceled it. The solicitor for the school district sent this letter to parents that reads in part, the district and the association have been involved in bargaining over a new labor contract for more than one year. Unfortunately, these negotiations have not resulted in a new contract, and right now both sides have firmly held positions. The solicitor went on to say the district faces very tough financial challenges and is attempting to address many issues in the current proposal. With the district being so large, there are much needed window repairs and upgrades to a roof. If the strike happens on March 13th, it would mean a complete district shutdown with more than 100 teachers. We want to stay in the classroom. We do not want to disrupt your lives at all. We want to do what we love doing, and that is teaching. A work rule is in place right now. It means teachers will only do what's in their contract. That excludes voluntary duties. And if you take a look on your screen, these are just some of many student activities that the district says will be excluded. And he says uh, student activities will be extremely impacted. That includes after school tutoring and uh, field trips as well. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News.